Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Wednesday, March the 2nd. It's the third week in Lent, and the psalm for, or the scripture for this service, Psalm 81, and Genesis 45, verse 16 to 28. And please join me in singing verse 5 of the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. We'll crowd your gates with thankful songs. High as the heavens our voices raise. And earth with her ten thousand tongues Shall fill your courts with sounding praise. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Sing aloud to God our strength. Make a joyful noise to the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Psalm 81, and please recite it with me. Sing aloud to God our strength. Make a joyful noise to the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Take a psalm and sound the timbrel, the pleasant harp with the psaltery. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, at the time appointed on our solemn feast day. For this was a statute for Israel, a law of the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. And God ordained in Joseph a testimony when he went out through the land of Egypt where I heard an unfamiliar voice say, I removed his shoulder from the burden, and his hands were delivered from the pots. You called in trouble, and I delivered you. I answered you in the secret place of thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, my people, and I will testify to you, O Israel, if you will listen to me. There shall be no strange God among you, Neither shall you worship any strange god. I am Yahweh, your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people would not listen to my voice, and Israel would not obey me. And so I gave them up to their own heart's lust, and they walked in their own counsels. Oh, that my people had listened to me, and walked in my ways. I would have quickly subdued their enemies and turned my hand against their adversaries. The God-haters should have submitted to me, but their punishment will endure forever. I would have fed them with the finest wheat and satisfied them with honey out of the rock. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Sing aloud to God our strength. Make a joyful noise to the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. A lesson from Genesis 45, beginning at verse 16. When the report was heard in Pharaoh's house that Joseph's brothers had come, Pharaoh and his servants were pleased. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, Say to your brothers, Do this. Load your animals and go back to the land of Canaan. Take your father and your households and come to me, so that I may give you the best of the land of Egypt, and you may enjoy the fat of the land. And you are further charged to say, Do this. Take wagons from the land of Egypt for your little ones and for your wives. Bring your father and come. Give no thought to your possessions, for the best of all the land of Egypt is yours. And the sons of Israel did so. And Joseph gave them wagons according to the instructions of Pharaoh, and he gave them provisions for the journey. And to each one of them he gave a set of garments, but to Benjamin he gave three hundred pieces of silver and five sets of garments. To his father he sent the following. Ten donkeys loaded with good things, and ten female donkeys loaded with grain, bread, and provision for his father on the journey. 
And then he sent his brothers on their way. And as they were leaving, he said to them, Do not quarrel along the way. And so they went up out of Egypt, and they came to their father Jacob in the land of Canaan. And they told him, Joseph is still alive. He is even ruler over all the land of Egypt. And he was stunned. He could not believe them. But when they told him all the words that Joseph had said to them, and when he saw the wagons that Joseph had sent to carry him, the spirit of their father Jacob received Israel revived. And Israel said, Enough! My son Joseph is still alive. I must go and see him before I die. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. And please respond, hear us, tender God. For those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the sick, especially Bill and Sean and Paul and Brother Don, for the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie and Brother Ronald, that they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For prison reform, for prisoners and captives, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For all who died, especially Martin, Sarah, Brother Stephen Edward, William, Brother Walter Arthur, and Stephen, that together with Chad and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. We pray. Hear us, tender God. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Give ear to our prayers, O God, and direct the way of your servants in safety under your protection, that amid all the changes of our earthly pilgrimage, we may be guarded by your mighty aid. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.